We're sitting inside the inflow facility, which is part of the National Atmospheric Measurement and Observation Facility and part of the National Wind Tunnel Facility. What makes this facility unique is it is the only wind tunnel in the UK and one of only a few worldwide that are able to control not only the speed of the air that goes through it, but also the temperature. Air can be faster higher up than it is lower down or slower lower down than it is higher up. You can have variations in temperature with altitude. And these are all the sorts of things that we can control inside this wind tunnel that other wind tunnels aren't really capable of doing. On top of that, the interaction between the speed of the air and the temperature is not a simple one. Warm air rises, so if you've got a sunny day over a, uh, a dark surface, that's going to warm up the air over it and that air is going to rise. So in order to be able to simulate that, we also need to be able to heat and cool the walls of this wind tunnel in a controllable way. And that's what makes this facility unique. This facility is capable of replicating conditions that you'd see in the real world. So we can put uh, models of buildings into the tunnel to measure things such as pollutant concentration and look at how air and pollution moves through a city. Um, there are also two 3D traverses that can move around um, the working section of the wind tunnel so you can move for example, a pollutant source around or a different probe measuring something in the tunnel. There is also a big turntable so you can rotate your model to simulate different wind incidences to your, your city or whatever model you've got. So the research that we do helps people predict if you've got a busy motorway, for example, where the pollution from that motorway is going to end up. So if you're planning on where to put new buildings or if you're deciding on urban development policy, or even if it's just you need to know where to put the fresh air intakes on a new building, this is the sort of research you need to have done.